going on a trip now and it's going to be rough. If you hear something in the woods, you tell me. If you hear something in the water, you tell me. But under no circumstance, are you allowed to take off your blindfold? Do you hear that? What is your tradition about marriage? Our tradition about marriage is very simple. But first, it should start in the courtship. There's no such thing as well, there's a courtship part, but there are instances that uh, some teenagers were actually being caught as being in, having an intimate relationship. And once they were caught that they have an intimate relationship, there's already an engagement. But at some point, some other people or some other items actually go into the process of courting stage and then uh, go into the parents uh, of the woman. And then right after that, there will be a settlement of uh, engagement. The settlement is actually the first part, which is being called as uh, uh, in Tagalog, it's being called as pamamahikan. Well, in, in our cultural term, that is actually um, uh, mamalai. Mamalai meaning the family of the male. We're gonna we're going to the family of the female and settle all, all the necessary uh, uh, requirements for the marriage. The first part is actually a bandi. Bandi is actually a or would simply be equated as bride price. It is actually not it's not necessarily a payment for the family or the for the fam for the women, but it is actually a matter of uh, um, appreciation on how the parents uh, take good care of their daughter. When it comes to bandi, bandi can be made to forms of livestock or even money. For livestock, sometimes it varies as well. If, uh, it varies when uh, the social status of the family of the women. If the family is actually ranking on a higher level of uh, higher ranking in the so uh, Aita society or Aita community, these are actually within the universe. The bandi would take up until two heads of cows or two heads of carabaos. That is within the leaders. But if it's a commoner or, the, or within the medium, or let's say the middle class, Aita, that would simply take just a, a one head of carabao or one head of cow, depending on the, the family asking for it. Now, the, the family of the male would comply to the bandi. Once the bandi is uh, once, once the bandi is given, and then they could go through the marriage. Marriage is actually uh, for now. Marriage practice is actually uh, it's more like uh, since they were, since the belief system already shifted from the uh, traditional animism to the Christian beliefs. Uh, marriage right now are being set up in church. So there's a church wedding right after. It could be either a church or just a chapel. So it doesn't matter either. So that is how the magic system right now. Is there a change about your tradition? When it comes to changes in marriage system, uh, I could say that from traditional, uh, since we are, uh, uh, since some missionaries already went to our communities, so when it comes to the rituals of marriage. The changes happened were actually the, uh, the wedding chapel, the wedding, or the church wedding. So that is already the changes happened. If you were going to choose, would you rather stay here or move to the city? And why? The, um, it has its own uh, pros and consequences. And I think I'd rather be balanced, still living in the outlying skirts or in the mountains, and have the access in the city. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.